Hello everyone, this is for the Sharp MX3110N, MX3110N also pertains to different models as well. Look in the description for those models. But this is entering into the service mode, how to enter into that. And also checking the counters on the consumable parts such as the fuser unit, secondary transfer belt, black drums, color drums, developers as well. So let's get started here. You're going to look for the home button on the on the control panel and press that home button twice. So two, tap on that home button two times. Press on the version number once and pound star C star is what you want to get into in, in order to access the service mode. And then 22 mono 6 mono 22-6 will get you into the data print mode and what this prints out is a, a, a report of all the consumable items that needs to be replaced or you can just kind of monitor and see what items need to be replaced according to their yields it also shows jam codes and service errors as well but here you can see um, maintenance all and the maintenance color is is your ta codes um, you can also see pressure roller fuser rollers developer cartridges drum cartridges and um, you can see that the drum is at 130,000 pages. And we're going to look it up right here. See the maintenance saw is at 132,000. Drum cartridge is at 132,000. Now in the service manual, under consumable items, um, you're going to see that the under the consumable items right here, consumable parts, we're going we're gonna to go down to that page and see what the maintenance counts for each item is. So if we go here to consumable items, maintenance parts, and I'm looking specifically for the 31 page per minute machine under North America, which um, pertains to my area. And if I look right here, it shows 31 copies per minute machine, fusing belt, 200 200,000 pages, fusing roller, 200,000 pages as well. Secondary transfer kit is at 300K. And then it also goes by turns, cycles as well for the um, for the developers and for the drums. Um, let me check this one more time. It says here, 300K secondary transfer belt kit. Now to check the drum and developer yields and when it's time for, to change those items as well. I'm scrolling to the top here to the, let's see, North America area. And this is the, um, that's the 18 page per minute machine. We don't want that. So 31 pages per minute is what I'm working on. And the consumable supplies list right here so toner cartridges so North America 31 copies per minute so here he's got the yields on the toner and the developer and the drums so developer black is rated for a hundred thousand copies and the developer sign magenta and yellow is rated for 60,000 copies now here the drum and the drum units rated for 100k on the black and 60k on the color. The difference between these two, the OPC drum is just the drum itself. The unit is the whole assembly. So those are the different part numbers for those items. So the service manual actually shows what each item is rated for. And um, we need definitely need to follow up with those parts. Another thing that I like to do on this machine is to check the copy the print print quality so I go into 64-01 and pattern number 19 and I print out each color starting with the K and what this test pattern prints out is a bunch of squares that that has different variations from dark solid to halftone 
squares. So you can see from the left it's dark black and to the, going towards the right there's different variations of half tones. And it shows how the black drum and the black developer basically is, is, is printing out an output. It's a good troubleshooting tool to determine what area of the machine, what color of the machine needing attention. So I do one for each color, cyan, magenta, and yellow. And on, this, on these colors, the cyan, magenta, and yellow, um, the output came out a little light. You can see that the, um, the solids are not that solid, so it's definitely needing some attention. Maybe some recalibrating. Cleaning of the laser units and also the um, main charge grids as well. Another thing that I like to check is right actually on the um, user panel itself will show you maintenance items and maintenance codes if those consumable supplies have reached their mark in order to be replaced. Right on the top here where it says line and printer under maintenance information it actually says TA, DK, VK and FK2 which is the black drums and the fuser web assembly. So those, that's the service mode on this Sharp MX 3610N. Um, thank you.